Hi Rap Candy, it's Ryan, and I am just going to show you how to add a product in your Zen cart. Just the basic tutorial on how to get started. First, you want to add a category. So you go to Catalog, Category, and Products. You just click on this new category. You type in a category name. I'm just going to type in Sample 1. Uh, you can add a description, and you can add an image for your category if you'd like. You just click Browse, find the image, it'll automatically update for you. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and save it. Once you've saved it, your category will appear. You just click on that category, and this is where we'll add our product under this new category. And here it is, the new product button here. I'm just going to run through this really fast. Uh, the first option is, is it in stock? I hope so, so I'm just going to leave it as in stock. Date available will be the day I list it. Your product name goes here, so a nice description of your product. Not too long, but you know, just a basic description of what your product is. Um, product is free? No. Product is call for price? No. Priced by attributes? No, unless you're going to charge more for attributes, then it would be yes. Uh, an attribute can be like the color. Um, it could be an attribute can be for download. It can be for a CD. It can be. It just depends on what you are selling. But for this tutorial, we're just going to go and add a basic product. Uh, put your price in, and it's whatever you're going to charge per item for your for your product. Is the product a download? If it is, push yes and skip address. But if it's not, then no. Shipping address is required. Is it always free shipping? If it's if it's a download, probably yes. If it's not, then no. Normal shipping rules apply. Show quantity box here. Uh, you put yes if you want them to be able to order multiple products or multiple of the item. Uh, you can set a minimum here if you'd like. Maybe they have to order 10. If you have to customize a wrapper, that might be a good idea. But if you don't have a minimum, you leave it as one. And next box is product quantity maximum. Uh, zero means unlimited. And one means no quantity box. And if you have a maximum, then you would set that number here. If you don't have a maximum, then you would leave it as unlimited. Uh, product quantity in units are these sold by ones or tens? Uh, most time they're sold by in units of one. Product description here you will write a great, powerful description of your product. Uh, the more keywords you get in there, the better for your search engine position. Uh, product quantity how many do you have in stock? Uh, you could put however many you have. 5,000, 50,000, 10, 1. That will keep track of every time one's ordered. It'll take away some of the quantity. A product model, most time you don't even have to use that. Product image, you just browse for your image. Just <coughs> go ahead and browse on your computer just like you would in the forum to add an image. quick find something that I can use I'm just right click I'm just changing it so I can view images see if there's we'll use this horse eye here open it uh, product shipping weight here you can specify the weight if it's in ounces you put 0 .001 for, I think that means one ounce um, if it's in pounds just put one pound this is used to calculate shipping and then go ahead and preview it. And there's my image is right there. I'm going to go ahead and insert. And here you can add attributes if you have any attributes. Um, it's pretty much the same principle. So if you want to find that video on my YouTube channel, uh, youtube.com slash Ryan Saw, uh, you should be able to find it. Uh, let's just go ahead and see if it was added to the website. So we put it under uh, sample one category, and there's my product. And it's got my description right here. I can add this to my cart. I can tell a friend about it. You can go to checkout, update cart, back to shopping cart. Anyway, that's just a quick, brief tutorial on how to add a category and your first product.